If you're a One Piece fan, you're probably feeling a mix of emotions right now. You might be feeling some sort of anxiety, happiness, sadness. It's just a mix, right? For starters, we're going on break for three weeks. So I understand that a lot of people would be upset. Some of us are excited, right? Chapter 1111 was a big monumental chapter, a great chapter that left us on somewhat of a cliffhanger. Some people might be worried, right? Why is Oda taking a three-week break? This is unusual. He doesn't take breaks often, and he's been taking a lot of breaks as of recently. Within the past I would say a couple of days, I have seen these comments all over the internet and I feel like there's a lot we need to discuss. I was planning to do a chapter review, but you know what, the chapter's already been out for a couple of days and there's already a ton of reviews on the internet. But what I do want to do is discuss the current phase of One Piece, what's currently happening in the community, with the series itself and with Oda himself, right? One Piece currently is at a very interesting point. We have entered the end game. We're getting closer to the ending of One Piece and I think the story clearly showcases that, right? We're finally seeing characters that we have been wishing to see since the beginning of One Piece. Characters like the Gorosei, we know their abilities now. We are meeting Dory and Bragi again. We're finally going to Elbaf, which we've been discussing since the beginning of the series. All of these things, all of these moments we've been waiting for for eons basically are finally blossoming so of course each chapter of one piece i, I would say from this point onward is probably going to be a big chapter of one piece it's going to be something revealing something massive there's going to be a lot of twists and turns along the way and i'm excited you know i think that part of me is excited i'm excited for the future of one piece I am a little bit, you know, worried about the ending of One Piece. I don't want the ending to come so soon, but it is definitely around the corner. I think now I want to talk about Oda's health and, you know, these recent breaks he's been taking. So he did leave a message saying not to worry about his health and whatnot, and that he's just trying to basically rejuvenate his body. But, you know, I, I was watching Trash Taste's podcast the other day, and they brought up a very interesting point. So mangaka in Japan, for some reason... Uh, have a very short lifespan and, and and this was documented by a certain I don't know if it was an article or if it was an actual study that was done but it was noticed and it was highlighted right that certain mangaka tend to die at the ages of like 60 to 70 and when comparing that to the lifespan of like an the average Japanese citizen which is like pretty old I think they have like the second highest lifespan or if not the highest lifespan in the world in terms of countries which is around your middle to late 80s and that's a drastic difference right the average age of a mangaka compared to the average age of a or the average lifespan of a, a Japanese citizen so of course I understand why people would be worried about Oda's health and of course Oda isn't just your average mangaka Oda is probably one of the hardest working mangaka and I showed this in one of my TikToks like a couple of days ago, the schedule of a like a weekly Shonen Jump mangaka. And this was an anonymous mangaka. It wasn't Oda. We don't know who it was. Um, and that schedule that I showed was insane. It was literally packed every single day of the week. If he wasn't making manga, he was either eating or sleeping. That's all they do. They literally just create manga, which is insane. And this isn't me pointing out that Oda's in poor health or anything like that. It's just me highlighting this specific case. That's why personally for me, whenever Oda decides to take a break, I, I genuinely don't get upset because I understand how much this man has done for everyone. So I'm like, you know what? Take a three week break, take a month break. Oda, if you want, take a three, four month break. It's fine. Like we can survive without One Piece for a month or two or whatever, right? If anything, that extends the, the I guess, the duration of One Piece, which is better for us. Um, so yeah, I don't know. And also Oda does want to finish One Piece relatively soon. He does want to travel the world. He's mentioned this in an SBS countless of times. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if One Piece ends within the, like the next couple of years, maybe one or two, three years. But yeah, listen, if you want more anime content, manga content, um, the current phase of One Piece that we're in is a very interesting phase, right? But yeah, anyways, peace out everyone. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Make sure you follow and subscribe.